Hey everyone, welcome to another Crafter Noon at Home video. This month we will be learning how to decoupage. Now, if you watched last month's video about the fairy jars, this will look very familiar. But we're using those skills in a different way, which you can use to jazz up everyday objects. Let's go over what you'll need. First, you'll need clippings. This project works great if you have a collection of scrap paper or magazine clippings that you like. If you don't have these on hand, go through some old magazines or print some pictures off the computer. If you have a fun scrapbook paper laying around, those work really nicely too. Uh, next, you'll need glue. Once again, I'm using a matte Mod Podge, but you can use a regular white craft glue. Just be sure to dilute it a little bit with water to make it spreadable. Next, you'll need an object to decorate. Boxes and jars and other containers work well. I've also done some nice hardcover sketchbooks and ceramic tiles. This time I'm using a small plastic container. Next up is cling wrap. This is optional, but very useful if you have found that your clippings are getting wrinkled after applying the glue. And lastly, you will need plenty of time because glue needs to dry. Okay, let's get started. I've got my clippings all cut out, ready to go here. Thought I'd just cut out some stuff I like. Aesthetic things, my hobbies, and stuff like that. It helps to have an idea on how you'll arrange things on the object before you go slathering glue everywhere. There's my vision. You might want to snap a photo of this for you to reference when you're gluing. Okay, now let's get started. This is the part where you need the most patience. I find that you get less wrinkles if you use light coats of Mod Podge in the beginning rather than huge wet layers. Just put one layer down, let it dry, and then start working on the next layer. Depending on the thickness of your paper, wrinkles are going to be inevitable. For example, tissue paper definitely wrinkles, but that can look really cool. But what if your favorite clipping of Taylor Swift from your pop music magazine gets all wrinkled once you put it down on the surface? That's not cool, man. Fear not, young Swifty, because there's hope for you yet. While your object is still wet from the glue, you can place cling wrap on top of it and smooth it out. You can use either your hands or a slim and sturdy object, like one of those store mem membership cards. And then that way, nothing gets messy and your prized clipping is safe. Of course, this all depends on a number of factors. Magazine paper wrinkles pretty easily. So if you're able to color copy your clippings before you start gluing, you should be golden because then you still have the magazine clipping and you can make infinite number of them. As you can see, I am no pro at smoothing out wrinkles, so I'm just gonna move on. All right, so keep doing this process until all your clippings are placed to your liking. Two hours later. All right, once that's dry, finish it off with one final coating of Mod Podge to seal it all in. I'm going to use a nice thick layer here. Now you're going to let this one dry for a while. One eternity later. All right, now it's dry. You can add more coats of Mod Podge if you want to or need to, but I'm happy with mine. I'm going to finish it off with an additional little ribbon and you can add any other embellishments you'd like. I thought a ribbon would look cute there. Okay, there we go. Keep in mind, if you're making something that will be exposed to the elements, you'll have to finish it with an additional sealer. There are many sealers out there, from spray on to brush on and for a variety of purposes. But if your object is just gonna be inside, not really doing any reckless activities like this pencil cup of mine, then you can leave it as it is and you're done. All right, now you know how to decoupage. Venture out and find all kinds of objects to decorate. Thank you for watching. I hope you all enjoyed it. See you next time. 